MCT is an evidence-based psychological treatment. It ident identifies the process of runaway worrying, ruminating, and uh, threat monitoring as common processes in psychological disorders. Um, these processes become stubborn because of biases in the person's metacognitions causing psychological symptoms to persist rather than self-correcting. So metacognitive therapy aims to work directly on the patient's metacognitions and restores a sense of flexible control over thinking so that processes such as worrying and ruminating can decrease. Uh, a range of techniques have been developed to enable the use of healthy control and to allow people to discover how to step outside of their own thinking processes. Treatment's usually brief. It takes around 12 sessions and treatment is often held weekly. Well, MCT as an approach can in fact be more effective than current gold standard treatments such as cognitive behavior therapy. Uh, in our recent randomized controlled trial published in scientific reports, we found that metacognitive therapy was better than cognitive behavior therapy in patients suffering from uh, major depression. It relieved symptoms more rapidly uh, and it led to higher recovery rates. Uh, similar effects for metacognitive therapy have been observed across other disorders such as the anxiety disorders. Metacognitive therapy is proving to be highly effective in the treatment of anxiety disorders, traumatic stress, and uh, in the treatment of depression. Um, currently, we're finishing a large NIHR-funded study using metacognitive therapy to treat anxiety and depression uh, symptoms in patients with cardiovascular disease. Uh, and in the future, uh, metacognitive therapy could be used as effective treatment for a range of problems in a range of settings, uh, but we really need more evidence to evaluate its effectiveness uh, in these different contexts. So what are the next steps? Well, the next steps uh, will involve evaluating this treatment in children and young people and extending the reach to other groups, um, perhaps with other types of medical conditions such as uh, distressed cancer patients. Uh, because we have a treatment that could be could offer a leap in efficacy, uh, we need to turn our attention to how we train therapists uh, in order to maintain the integrity of this uh, important uh, treatment approach. <laughs>